guys this is abhishek from gadgetstoo.com and today we are going to do the quick unboxing and quick review of the canvas night 2 which is the second phone in the canvas night series from micromax the first phone was launched last year and it was a pretty good success now they have launched this phone as canvas night 2 which is an upgrade over the canvas night and this phone has become better in lot many ways as compared to canvas night which we have seen earlier so i'm going to give you my quick impressions related to this phone and i have used this phone for approximately 24 hours uh, this is right now not a full review and this review will not include any information about the battery as well because i have used this device for only 24 hours so the battery is something which you won't get to know about this one in terms of the backup and again it is not a full review so do stay, stay tuned for the full review we will post that later right now this is just the quick information but all you need to know about the canvas 2 before you can plan to buy it so this is how the packaging looks like we have the phone name mentioned over there which is canvas night 2 we have the micromax logo over there on this side we have some information which is actually an offer from Airtel. so if you buy this phone and use an Airtel sim inside you can get double data on 4g and 3g and at the back side we have some specifications of the phone mentioned which includes corning gorilla glass 3 which we have on this one we have an amoled display on this device which is a high definition display and it gives you good viewing angles and the color production is also so good we also have good surround sound experience on this device and again the overall sound quality from the device is pretty good it is loud and it is clear as well we have got qualcomm snapdragon 615 octa core 1.5 gigahertz 64 bit cpu we also have support for super power saving on this device and when it comes to 4g connectivity it supports TDLTE and FTDLTE as well both of these frequencies are supported we have some quick specification mentioned over there which includes 5 inch of high definition display 5 megapixel front camera which is a fixed focus camera we also have 13 megapixel rear camera which is an auto focus camera it can record high definition video at 1080p and we have battery which is 20 to 60 milliampere hour on this device again the battery is non removable on this phone the MRP which is mentioned on the box is 16499 and the things which you get within the package is going to be the phone charger hands-free cable usb cable user guide warranty card screen guard and a sim tray gear so all these things are going to be inside the package let me just open it and this is one of the easiest package to open because i can actually open it in this sliding manner which is definitely an impressive package which micromax has given with this one and the first thing which you get inside the package is the phone itself i have used this phone for approximately 24 hours i have installed a couple of applications and i'm pretty happy with the overall performance as far as initial impressions are concerned i am really liking the overall form factor of the phone because this phone has become slimmer this time as compared to the previous canvas night which we have seen this has become lighter as well build quality is also very nice they have added a metal frame on the edges which does make this phone look very premium and again it also feels very strong when you hold it in hand it is a pretty strong metal phone we have glass on the front which is a corning gorilla glass 3 whereas at the back side i'm not sure whether we have corning gorilla glass 3 we will confirm that later we have 13 megapixel rear camera which is an autofocus camera again the build quality on this device is a pretty good thing and as you can see everything is finished very nicely and crisp and clear there is no uh, no problem as far as the build quality is concerned it is a pretty precise phone in terms of the build quality we also have dual led flash as well and on the top you have a 3.5 mm audio jack on this side we have a secondary microphone for noise cancellation and video chat i don't know whether you can see that now it has focus so you can see that and we have antenna bands over there the buttons over there on the edges are again metallic buttons and they give you good amount of feedback both the power button and the volume rocker are metallic buttons at the bottom we have got loudspeaker mesh over there which is also a good design because the loudspeaker will not be blocked if you place it like this on a flat table while watching a video and over here you have micro usb port for data syncing and charging at the back side we have the micro max logo over there and then we have some information over there i don't know why they have mentioned these numbers but th this one should be some 
something related to manufacturing so over here we have the sim card tray and the sim card tray can actually come out and i will show you how does the connectivity goes on this one this is actually a dual sim phone or you can use a single sim card with a micro sd memory card as well so micro sd memory card expansion is option in case you would like to use that once you use that you won't be able to use two sim card on this one so the build quality is nice on, and on the front we can see that we have a nice metal earpiece over there proximity and emit light sensors we have 5 megapixel front camera and at the bottom on the front we can see that we have touch capacity buttons which are there within the display they are not on the body of the phone let's take a look over the packaging what else we have inside apart from the phone so we have a micro usb cable the earphones which are there inside the package and then we have this charger and the charger output current is 1.5 ampere so this is a kind of a fast charger better than one ampere charger which we normally get and the headphones which come within the package they have a cable which is a tangle free kind of a cable and as you can see over there this is a flat style cable which will not get tangled very easily and the sound quality from these headphones is again going to be decent i have used some other headphones which are similar and they have a button to pick the call but there are no volume controls on this one this is the sim injection tool which come within the package with the micro max branding over there and then we have the user manual for this phone we have another pamphlet which tells you about an application which is the mad application which allows you to watch ads and on from that we have the sar information guide as well and the values which are mentioned in the sar value document is 0.31 watt per kg and 1.07 watt per kg respectively and again these are the values which are again under permissible limit we have a user manual again which tells you about some of the key features of the camera application on this phone how you can take better photos as far as selfies are concerned and apart from that we have got a warranty card we have another pamphlet which is an advertisement pamphlet for their tablet series and we have a screen card as well which come within the package so you can actually install this screen card once you buy this phone and this is how you can protect the display so let me just keep the packaging aside for a while and we will take a look over the Canvas Knight 2 which is actually a very good phone in terms of design and this time they have made sure that this phone looks as premium as any other flagship phone actually look. As far as SIM tray is concerned, once you make it come out, you can see that we have two slots. This is the first slot for the SIM card. This is going to take a micro SIM and the second slot can either take a nano SIM in the vertical orientation or you can insert a micro SD memory card in this orientation, in the horizontal orientation and you can actually use single SIM card with a micro SD card or you can use two SIM cards as well and the second SIM card has to be a nano SIM in that case. Let's take a look over the software UI of the phone. As you can see, it is running on Android Lollipop and the software UI is very responsive and smooth there is no lag which I can notice and after using it for 24 hours I'm pretty happy with the device again this is an initial kind of usage I'm yet to say more once I use this device in detail later in the upcoming weeks we have Android version which is 5.0.2 and apart from this let's take a look over the storage scenario and on the storage front we have got 16 GB of internal storage on this device and out of 16 GB approximately 12.20 GB is available and the current available storage after the application which are coming pre-installed it is 10.97 GB so approximately 11 GB of storage you will get on this device I have installed a couple of applications as well but again this much of storage is still free after installing those applications let me just take a look over the application scenario and we will find out the current status of the RAM and we have 2 GB of RAM on this device which is definitely a good thing and this 2 GB of RAM is also good enough in terms of the free RAM available to the user we have 1.2 GB of RAM available to the user which is making this device responsive and smooth in terms of the overall UI transition and I do not notice any kind of major UI lag or anything uh, which could be a problem for any consumer out there. We have tethering options as well supported so you can create a portable Wi-Fi hotspot as well on this one. Let's take a look over the phone dialer and we will find out the phone dialer how does it look like. Again it is kind of a stock Android phone dialer you do not have the option of making a video call but you can easily dial the number in case you would like to dial it without any kind of flashy 
uh, phone dialer which we normally see on some of the other phones let's take a look over the messaging application and here we have it so on the messaging application front we can see that we have a keyboard which is a stock android lollipop keyboard which we have on this one and as far as typing is concerned continuous input is supported so you can type pretty easily on this device without any issues typing experience is pretty smooth you do get a pop-up whenever you tap on any of these keys so that you can get to know which key you have pressed and especially for people who have thick fingers they will be typing pretty smoothly on this device this is a 5 in display device so you can type pretty smoothly even in portrait mode and in case you face any issues you can type in the landscape mode as well let's take a look over the camera performance and as you can see this is how the camera ui look like the camera ui does give you a lot of options including uh, these different settings which you can access you can take photos at different resolution you have a preview size as well which is 4 is to 3 in case you would like to take 16 is to 9 expect ratio you have a preview size in that as well but that will be 9.6 megapixel as far as photos are concerned when it comes to other things we have the option to toggle the camera whenever we tap over here you have different kind of filters which you can apply you do have support for HDR mode as well and let's take a photo from the rear camera as of now and we will find out how the overall clarity so we have taken this photo right away and the camera shutter is pretty quick I can just take this photo again without light and it does take some time to focus but it can take the photos even without light as well pretty nicely I can just take a photo of myself as far as the front camera is concerned it does have face detection as well and let me just take this photo again with light and this time I'm going to enable both of these lights and take a photo so I've taken all these photos and I can show you all of them one by one. This is the front camera selfie. It is looking pretty good in terms of the clarity, in terms of details as well. So here I have the photo which has been taken from the front camera and this one has been taken with light. This is looking pretty crisp and clear. There is no problem. Cam details, colors, everything is right on this photo. When it comes to the other photo which we have taken, this is the second photo which I have taken. This one has been taken with without light so this one without light is not too great but still it is better i would say as compared to some of the phones uh, in this price segment in which this one is coming so you have pretty good clarity from the front camera even in low light as well the rear camera is good this is the photo which we have taken in the low light so it is pretty crisp and clear the photo is also bright even we have captured this one in low light details are not that clear but if you take the photo with light you can you can get much better details which are over here so this one has good amount of details as compared to the one which has been taken without light and you can see the comparison by zooming into the face you do not see much details here but if you zoom into this one you will see good amount of details being captured in this one so again both the rear camera and the front camera are doing a pretty good job on this one. So now we are playing a high definition video from our channel and this video is getting played at high definition resolution as well. And one thing which I really like is the sound quality. Let me just check whether the sound is at full or not. So this is the full sound volume and it is pretty loud and clear as well which is good. As far as viewing angles are concerned, viewing angles are good as well. You can See the display from almost any angle and this video is also getting played at high definition resolution so everything is good as far as video playback is concerned and the loudness of the sound clarity of it is also pretty good on this device now here we are testing the browsing speed and as you can see it is loading our website pretty fast it it will take approximately two to three seconds to load the website again we do not have a very fast internet over here but it has loaded the website pretty well and i do not see any issues kinetic scrolling is pretty smooth there is no problem with that pinch to zoom is also working fine there is no problem with that as well double tap to zoom also work which is good and again panning is also pretty smooth on this device uh, and let me just show you that so i can show you the panning part right so panning is also pretty smooth there is no problem with the browsing on this device and it is having a google chrome browser which is coming pre-installed as a default browser which is again a good option as compared to the normal third party browser which you normally have on android phones now these are some of the applications which are coming pre-installed so you do have some of the bloatware which is also coming pre-installed which is come like 
Candy Crush and Ask Me Expert and other application which will get automatically installed once you set up Play Store on this device and you can actually get rid of these application which is a good thing so in case you go into application part you can actually get rid of the application which you don't need so you can actually uninstall the preloaded application which are coming on this one which is actually a good move by Micromax this time. Now let's take a look over the hardware configuration of this phone. We have the system information and the model number of this device is Micromax E471 and then we have the name of the device mentioned which is Knight 2. We have 64 bit octa core CPU which is 1.5 GHz Snapdragon 615. Let's take a look over the display resolution. So display resolution is 720 to 1184. It is affected by these touch capacity buttons at times but not all the times we have adreno 405 gpu which is also capable of playing high definition games and you can almost do anything related to graphics on this one this is pretty capable of doing a lot of things we have proximity sensor accelerometer sensor gyroscope magnetic field sensor is also there gravity sensor is also there linear acceleration rotation vector flip sensor and you also have software significant motion detector sensor and all these sensors which you normally need on a smartphone are there on this device and you do have some extra sensors as well which includes the flip sensor and the software significant motion sensor which again will help you track some steps in case you are using some application which tracks your steps and tell you the calories burned so you can do that on this one without needing any other variable so that's all from us as far as the quick unboxing and quick review of the micromax canvas night 2 we really like this phone in terms of the overall design the form factor of the phone is also good weight of the phone is also pretty light considering the canvas night which we have seen earlier so this one has become much lighter and it is also pretty solid with the kind of build quality and the looks are very premium i would say it is better in terms of the looks as compared to the earlier phone which we have seen and many other phone in this price segment so this is all we have as far as the quick hands-on and unboxing and quick review of this phone do let us know if you have any specific question for this device we would love to help you you can like this video this video help you by clicking the like button below you can subscribe to our youtube video channel for more videos like this by clicking the subscribe button below thanks for watching this video this is abhishek signing off thank you